also been asked by Breast Cancer Haven to put together a short video including some movements and this sequence will be to help relax and release tension from around the joints. But before we begin just to uh, emphasize that it's really you'll be doing this practicing on your home without supervision so really not forcing anything just really listening to the body using the movements to relax the tension without straining so we're going to go through the joint releasing sequence but first of all we just sit for a short time to notice how we're feeling at the beginning of the sequence just feeling the feet resting on the ground feeling the sitting bones resting on the seat of the chair we're going to do this routine mostly sitting down so it's important to have a comfortable stable position and then from there we just scan through the body noticing any areas where we're holding tension and just see if we can begin to soften that and also just noticing how you are gen generally your energy level your breathing rhythm and how you feel mentally how you feel emotionally and then we just begin to bring some movement into the body starting with the hands just stretching out the fingers and then closing the hands into a fist and again just to mention if there's any areas of the body where you've got discomfort or restriction please honor that don't push through it just move the best you can with that supporting it or maybe not moving that part of the body if that feels more appropriate as well so we're just stretching out the fingers and then closing them into a loose fist to work the joints in the fingers. And then I just point the palms forward and just beginning to move the wrists. Lifting the hands up and then lowering them down, feeling that movement through the wrist joint and then side to side movement. And then circling round one way, the other way. And then both hands going the same way. Can release the fingers. And then both going the other way. And then just shaking out the hands. And bringing the hands and arms to rest. And important with this routine that we don't rush, we take time after we've done a movement. We just pause and feel the effects of that. Particularly on the area we've been working, in this case, the hands, the fingers, the wrists. And then we shift the tension into the elbow joints. I bring the arms out in front of the body. And then I bend the elbows and I feel that movement through the elbow joint. And then bringing the arms out to the sides. So the same movement, but in this different position now really bringing in the shoulders. And then with the arms in front again, just circling the elbows, a bit more freestyle, just finding ways to loosen and relax around the elbow joints. And then again, just shaking out the elbows, bringing the hands to rest on the knees. 
and just taking a moment to notice the effects of those movements around the elbow joints. And then we shift the focus again now into the shoulders. And we begin by just simply lifting the shoulders up to the highest point up towards the ears and then slowly lowering the shoulders back down and finding the low point. The shoulders, that range of movement, breathing in, lifting the shoulders up, breathing out, lowering the shoulders down. And then if it's safe for you to do so, we do the same lift, but then this time as we breathe out, we just let the shoulders drop, helping to release tension from around the shoulder joints, the shoulder blades one more time. And then we circle the shoulders. So I bring the shoulders forward, upwards, backwards, downwards, helping to release tightness, tension around the shoulder joints. And then I circle the other way. Maybe a few clicks and cracks as we really looking to release tension from around the shoulders. Then I bring my fingers to rest on top of the shoulders and a bigger circle now involving the arms and the shoulders. Again, circling backwards and then forwards. Gently, not straining, not pushing anything. And then if you want, you can even explore a bigger movement, circling the whole of the arms forward. And then taking those circles the other way. And then just resting again, easing out the shoulders and then just noticing the effects of those movements. And getting a sense of the whole of the arms now from the shoulders through the elbows, the wrists to the fingers. And then we move the focus from the shoulders into the neck. Again, just starting by gently lowering the chin down towards the chest, stretching the back of the neck, and then lifting the gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky, opening the throat area. Again, gentle movement, really listening, not straining the neck. It can be quite a delicate area, so we want to make sure that we're just moving enough to release without straining forcing anything and then the second movement for the neck I look over the left shoulder the stretch down the right side of the neck coming back to center and then I look over the right shoulder stretching the left side of the neck And then just resting in the center for a moment. And then the third movement, I lower the left ear down, sorry, the right ear down towards the right shoulder, coming back to center, and then the left ear down towards the left shoulder, and back to center. And then the fourth final movement for the neck, I bring the chin extending forward and then draw the chin in, lengthening through the back of the neck. Bring the chin forward and then lengthening through the back of the neck, tucking the chin in and then just coming back to center and just easing out 
around the neck and just resting again for a moment and observing, feeling the effects of those movements on the neck muscles, on the top of the shoulders, base of the skull. And then we shift the focus into the mouth, into the jaw, just wriggling the jaw from side to side. And then stretching the mouth open and close, releasing the facial muscles. And then to just facilitate that release, you can at the same time just make a, a yawning sound to relax the vocal cords, the facial muscles. Just, ah, 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 ah. And maybe a stretch as well. Oh. And then just pursing the lips and blowing through to relax the lips, the face. And then shifting the focus to the eyes and we exercise the eye muscles, keeping the head still, just looking over to the left, over to the right. And then looking up to the sky and down to the ground. And then looking diagonally up, diagonally down. And then diagonally up to the right, diagonally down to the left. And then we circle around. So I look up, over to the right, down to the ground, over to the left, up to the sky, and then going the other way, to the left, down, over to the right, and up. And then again, just resting for a moment, relaxing the face, relaxing the eyes, and just feeling the effects of those movements. And then also maybe we just squeeze and release the shoulder muscles on the left side using the right hand, the right side using the left hand and using both hands. And then we shift the focus into the chest. So the first movement, I just bring my fingertips together in front of the chest. Don't bring the shoulders too high, the elbows too high trying to keep the arms, shoulders relaxed. And then I just draw the elbows back, feeling that opening in the front of the rib cage, and come back to that starting position, feeling that expansion between the shoulder blades. So a couple of times, feel that opening up the ribs. And then the second movement, a bigger movement, again, only doing it if it feels appropriate for your body. Take a breath in, bring the chin forward, the chest forward, and then I breathe out, I round the back. I draw the chin down, and then I open up again all of the front of the body, bringing the chin forward, bringing the chest forward, and then curling up again, releasing down. And then again, I just rest for a moment and feel the effects of those movements on the chest, on the shoulder blades around the back, the upper part of the torso. And then I shift the focus into my spine. And first of all, just releasing the arms by the side, leaning over to the right side, feeling that stretch in the left side of the body and then leaning over to the left side, feeling that stretch in the right side of the body. And with this, I'm not looking for the maximum stretch, just looking to open up this waist area, the side of the rib cage, helping to ease out tension around the chest, around the ribs. And if you want to, 
stronger stretch, you can just bring the hands above the head, leaning over to one side, and then leaning over to the other. Again, not, not trying to go too far, just enough to feel that lengthening, that opening in the side, coming back to center, and then that lengthening, opening in the other side. And then just letting the arms relax down. And then we explore a rotation through the spine. So I start again gently, build it up. So I just bring the right hand onto the left knee, bring the left hand behind the bike, and I just turn the spine round. That turn coming from the tailbone up through the lower back and maybe all the way up to the neck. And then I release. Again, we're not forcing it, you're not straining, just slowly feeling that rotation, releasing the vertebrae in the spine. And again, to the right. And if you want a slightly bigger stretch, you can Rest the hand on the shoulder and just turn in that bit farther. And one more to the right. And then another movement for releasing the spine. I just lean the body forward, leaning from the hips to take a breath in. And again, I build it up first time. I just go down a short way and then pushing up through the feet, up, rolling from the front to the back of the sitting bones, rolling through the lumbar spine, rolling through the chest, coming back up to sitting. And you can either just stay with that small movement or begin to expand it, releasing further down, and then again pushing up through the feet, through the legs, through the sitting bones, rolling up through the lower spine, the mid spine and the neck. And then if it's comfortable for you, you can release all the way forward. And then rolling up from the feet into the sitting bones, into the lumbar spine, to the back of the ribcage, the neck. And then again, we just pause for a moment and we feel the effects of those movements around the spine, the back muscles. And then we shift the focus into the hips, into the pelvis. So to begin just rocking from side to side. And this is a nice thing we can do at any time, particularly when we've been on computer for a while and we're starting to tighten up, seize up, just brings movement back into the lower body, into the legs, into the lower back. And then just bringing that slowly to rest. And then we focus the attention on the pelvic floor muscles. And as breathing, I pull up on the pelvic floor muscles. I hold that for a few seconds and then just releasing that down, relaxing the pelvic floor. A couple more times, drawing up pelvic floor muscles, breathing out, releasing. And then I'm going to come up into standing, continue to work around the pelvis, just moving my chair. Then we tilt the pelvis, so just tucking the tailbone under and then tilting the tailbone back. You can rest the hands on the hips if you like, tilting under, tilting back. And this really releasing the lower back, releasing the hip joints. And then we open the hip, so pivoting on the toes, just opening the hip joint. 
and if you're well balanced or you can use the support of a chair you can just lift the leg up open the hip out come back down a few times circling outwards and then circling back in and then just swing in the leg releasing the hip and then focus more now in the knee forward backward movement through the knee joint a little bit side to side and then circling round one way and the other and then you can't see so easily but then just with the foot just bending the foot forward and back left and right and then circling round one way circling round the other and then I just shake out the whole of that left leg and just resting for a moment in the standing, feeling the effects of those movements from the left side, the pelvis down through the knee, through the ankle into the foot. And then I balance that out by working the right leg. So again, just pivoting on the toes to begin, feeling its rotation in the hip joint, and then if you're feeling well balanced, you can explore just picking the leg up, opening it out. A few times one way and then the other. And then just swinging from the knee, releasing the knee, backwards, forwards, side to side. And circling around one way. The other, like I say, you can use a chair for support if you want, and then just flexing the foot forward and back, side to side, and then circling round one way and the other. And then just shaking out. <sighs> right leg, so they're just for a moment, shaking out the whole body. And then just coming to rest in the standing and just feeling the effects of that routine we've just done through all the joints in the body and then I just bring my hands to rest on the dantian displaced just three finger widths below the navel it's physical center of the body and I just feel that contact drawing my awareness down into the belly and also that sense of the weight resting down into the earth, making sure you're not tense in the knees. So I really receive that support from the ground, from the earth. And then we're just going to, now we've loosened the body, we just want to stretch it a little bit. So I have this imagery like I'm a tree, my legs, the roots of the tree, the torso, the trunk and the arms, the branches and I release the knees, I release into the ground and then it's like a, the tree drawing the water up through the roots, through the trunk and then extending the branches up towards the sky. Again I don't want to strain, just a nice opening upwards and then a release back into the centre. And then again, I release into the ground and then it's like drawing that water up again through the legs, the roots, the trunk, and then diagonally up, unfolding into the space and then gathering back into center. And then the same thing coming up through the legs, through the spine, out through the shoulders, into the space, either side of the body, and then releasing, coming back to center. And then we've got the diagonally down direction, but it's still coming up through the legs, through the spine, out through the shoulders, as I connect downwards, diagonally spreading out, and then releasing back into the center. And then the last line, I just release down into the ground and come back to center. So we do that one more time 
and just really enjoying this movement of not rushing to get to the end, feeling each stage, opening the palms, receiving the sky, the light, and then bringing that back into your center. Taking your time and then stretching diagonally up, opening up the body, opening up the joints. Coming back to center. And then the stretch out to the sides. Coming back to center. And the stretch diagonally down, sending your roots out. Coming back to center. And then finally really rooting yourself down into the earth and coming back to the center and to finish off we just release again into the ground and then we just have this lift through the center line coming out through the crown of the head i open to the sky the arms come down the sides i relax the knees i sink the weight down just a couple of times, this lift through the center. I turn the palms up above the head. The palms open in the space, receiving that expansive feeling about halfway down. The palms turn to face the ground. I relax into the earth. And again, I just lift up through the center line, opening to the sky. Letting that space, spacious, expansive feeling come in. Then I really earth and ground myself. And again, I feel that lift coming up. And really that sense of opening in the shoulders. Expansion. Coming down. Landing on the earth. And then I embrace space and settle and then a few times just I begin to feel the feet gently pushing against the ground lengthening through the legs through the spine just bringing the hands up in front of the body dropping the elbows down and releasing down into the air so as I come up it's like I'm receiving from the ground up to the crown of the head and as I breathe out, I'm softening the shoulders, softening the back, the hips, the knees, sinking my weight down into the earth. And then again, I lift up. And I release down. Feeling the micro movements, those releases. We've worked the joints, so hopefully you feel more fluid, more easeful can really get this sense of flow as we release into the ground, letting the movement go out through the fingertips and then receiving this wave up from the ground, from the earth and relaxing back into solidity of the ground. And then just bringing the hands again to rest on the center, just below the navel and just resting in the standing for a moment. And to finish off, we just come back to sitting down. Again, establishing a stable foundation. Feeling the feet flat on the ground, resting, the knees and hips softening. Feel yourself centered on the sitting bones and releasing down through the pelvic floor. And then from this stable foundation, we feel the spine rising up without tense in the spine. We feel that natural uprightness and we can release the shoulders softening the chest space between the shoulder blades 
relaxing the abdominal organs, resting the elbows, the wrists, the palms and fingers, relaxing the throat. Rest in the face, facial features, the mouth, the eyes. And this sense of relaxing the brain, releasing tension from inside the head. And then feeling that natural ventilation through the breathing. As I breathe in, I receive from the environment fresh energy, oxygen. As I breathe out, I let go the carbon dioxide, letting go of what I no longer need, this natural exchange and then breathing in, receiving enrichment, receiving energy into the body and breathing out, just letting go, coming to rest. And for a few moments, I just rest in this natural rhythm of the breathing. For me, it's really nice outside, fresh energy, feeling the sounds of nature, the oxygen from the trees entering into my body, refreshing, renewing the cells, and then on the out breath, releasing the carbon dioxide. So it's a physical cleansing, but also a mental, emotional cleansing when I breathe in, drawing in, inspiration, fresh energy, fresh life, breathing out, letting go, the tired, stuck energy in the body, letting it be liberated, releasing. And then again, I feel that refreshment coming in. And I just rest, maybe there's thoughts going on in my head i don't feel they shouldn't be there i don't try to push them away but i just have at least some of my tension resting with the breathing feel myself being cleansed and refreshed and just feeling observing the effects of that routine we've just gone through together those movements as we just quietly rest together. And then we just get ready to come out of this practice and to move into the rest of our day. So we begin by just bringing a bit of movement back into the body by wriggling the hips. Wriggling the shoulders, the fingers, the toes, the jaw. And if your eyes are open, you can just... So if the eyes are closed, you can open the eyes. And just taking a moment to regather yourself before you stand up and come out of the practice.